Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shweta Anand and welcome back to my channel Simplified Dentistry. Today's topic is Anatomical Planes of the Body. So before you start to study anatomy, it is important to know about anatomical planes. As understanding anatomical planes will make it easier to study anatomy. So planes when used in combination with anatomy are used to divide the body and body parts which in turn allows us to describe the views from which we study the body. But before moving on to the anatomical planes, let's know about positions of the body. There are two main and three other positions of the body. The two main positions of the body are anatomical position and fundamental position. The other three positions of the body which are frequently used in clinical practice are supine position, prone position and lithotomy position. Now let's know about each one of them in detail. So first is anatomical position. In anatomical position, the body is erect that is straight. The eyes are directed forward and look straight. The upper limbs hang by the side of the body with palms of the hand turned forward. The point to be noted is that the palms of the hand should be turned forward and the fingers are pointed straight down. The lower limbs including the feet are parallel to one another with feet flat on the floor and toes pointing forwards. So in medical profession, the body parts and their relationships are always described presuming that the body is in anatomical position. Although in anatomical position, the position of forearms and hands is not a natural one, it does allow for accurate description. So this is the position assumed in all anatomical descriptions to ensure accuracy and consistency. In one is the fundamental position. So the fundamental position is same as the anatomical position except that the palms of the hand face sides of the body. So in anatomical position the palms of the hand will turn forward and here it is faced towards the side of the body. And this position is often used in discussing the rotation of the upper limbs. Now let's have a look on supine, prone and lithotomy position. In supine position, the person lies on the back with face directed upwards. In prone position, the person lies on his belly or abdomen with his face directed downwards. And in lithotomy position, the person lies supine with buttocks at the edge of the table. Now let's move on to the anatomical planes of the body. So four fundamental imaginary planes are frequently used to depict structural arrangement in the body. These are median plane, sagittal plane, coronal plane, and transverse plane. So before knowing about each anatomical plane, let's know what exactly is anatomical plane. So an anatomical plane is a hypothetical plane used to transect the body in order to describe the location of structures or the direction of movements. First let's know about mid-sagittal or median plane. This plane passes lengthwise that is longitudinally through the sagittal suture or midline and divides the body into equal right and left halves. On the surface of the body, those halves are generally symmetrical in structure, but the same symmetry does not apply to all internal structures. Sagittal suture is the midline articulation that joins the two parietal bones. Second is sagittal plane. So any plane parallel to mid sagittal plane or median plane is termed sagittal plane. 
This plane also passes longitudinally, but it divides the body into unequal right and left halves. Third is coronal plane or frontal plane. This plane passes longitudinally at right angles to the median plane and divides the body into front and back portions. It is called coronal plane as it corresponds to the coronal suture. So coronal suture is the transverse suture in the skull separating the frontal bone from the parietal bone. Fourth is transverse plane which is also known as horizontal or cross-sectional plane. This plane passes parallel to the ground and divides the body at any level into upper and lower portions. Transverse plane is perpendicular to the median plane. Now let's have a look on two other planes which are oblique plane and cardinal plane. First let's have a look on oblique plane. So any plane other than mid-sagittal, sagittal, coronal and transverse is termed as oblique plane. Now let's have a look on the last plane that is cardinal plane. So whenever the plane passes through the center of the body, be it sagittal, frontal or transverse, it is referred to as cardinal plane because it divides the body into equal parts. One thing has to be noted here is that the point at which the three cardinal planes intersect each other is the center of gravity. So do you know what is center of gravity? Center of gravity of human body is a hypothetical point around which the force of gravity appears to act. It is a point at which the combined mass of the body appears to be concentrated. So that was it for today. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, then please like, share and comment down below. And if you want more such contents, then please subscribe to the channel Simplified Dentistry.